10 ways to earn passive income on your cryptocurrency that is already sitting in your Binance account. Basically, you can get more crypto with the crypto you already have, and a lot of it is guaranteed. You can take on some risk for higher returns, and we're going to explain all of that in this video. Here are some time codes that might help you out, but Hey, we would appreciate it if you watch the entire video, if you hit that like button, and if you don't already have the Binance app, there is a link to it in the description of this video. There's this excellent post on the Binance blog about 10 ways to earn Bitcoin and other crypto with Binance Earn. Now, I will be pretty much explaining this, and there is also going to be a link in the description, but we're just going to go over this live, and I'll be showing you how everything works in the app very briefly. Most importantly, your capital is guaranteed in a lot of these services, but with some services like DeFi staking or liquid swap, there are some risks to your funds. With liquid swap, your risk here would be impermanent loss, where you lock your funds in a liquidity pool, and then the pool is subject to the price fluctuations of the market. So there is some risk of loss there, but for the most part, there is some easy guaranteed capital. Flexible savings. As you can see, zero fees, dynamic APY, rewards are distributed daily. So from the app, we go to savings. And if you don't see savings, that's no problem. You hit more over here, scroll down to finance, and then you should see savings. Now you have flexible savings and locked savings here. Flexible savings will give you these interest rates. These interest rates are low when compared to lock savings, which will give you a higher yield on your investment. But the difference is flexible savings allows you to take out your funds whenever you like and you gain that interest daily. Locked savings has certain durations where your funds have to be locked up for that time period. So with BUSD, for example, you have an interest rate of 4.5%, 4.6, 4.8, and 5.1. This depends if you're locking your funds for 7, 14, 30, or 90 days. Your funds have to be locked in that savings contract for that full 90 days. Now, you can withdraw them whenever you like, that is possible, but then you would forfeit any interest you would have accrued. So for the 90-day plan, if you stay for one hour, one day, 15 days, 89 and a half days, you will not get that interest. You have to be there for the full 90-day plan. So if you want to earn interest daily and have flexible access to your funds, flexible savings is for you. If these funds are just going to sit in your account, locked might be a better option. The third way to earn passive income on Binance is BNB Vault. So if you are a strong believer in BNB, the Binance coin and Binance Smart Chain, and you see a lot of growth in their future, so you're holding their token, or if you just want to save 25% off the trading fees on Binance, you would probably own the BNB coin and you can earn interest on that. So from the app, you select more, scroll down to finance and select BNB Vault. Now the current APY is 1.68%. The interest rate for BNB Vault is determined by the various earning opportunities that are currently available on Binance. It's kind of like a yield optimizer. It will take your funds and invest it in places like Launchpool or Flexible Savings, places where your funds are safe and that you will get a guaranteed yield. Now, BNB Vault doesn't necessarily mean your funds are completely locked. This is kind of like the savings plan specifically for BNB. So we can stake and unstake funds as we like. Interest is paid daily and there are no time commitments. If you just have BNB sitting in your account, it might be a great option, not financial advice, to use BNB Vault to earn interest on the BNB you already have. Number four, launch pool. So from the Binance app, that would be Launchpad here. But if you don't see Launchpad there, no problem. All you have to do is select more and scroll down to others, Launchpad. From month to month, the launch pool may change. And right now, Clay is available and they are accepting BNB and BUSD for their launch pool. That means you would have to stake BNB or BUSD to participate. And the interest rate on BNB is 1% while BUSD is 1.4%. And if you do stake your tokens to participate in the launch pool, you will immediately begin earning staking rewards. Now, staking rewards are just going to be sitting in your account and you have to harvest them when you're ready. So that's why we have pending harvest here and I can harvest the rewards whenever I like. 
So that is an option. If I wanted to remove my funds from the launch pool, I can do that at any time. Number five, locked staking. So from the app, go select more, scroll down to finance and select staking. And you can see here we have two options, staking and DeFi staking. Staking is where you earn rewards for that specific coin. So we see clay. And if I stake my clay for 30 or 60, 90 days, I'm going to earn rewards in clay. Same thing for sand, KSM, and there are a lot of coins available, so check that out. Number six, DeFi staking. Binance does vet their DeFi staking partners to minimize their risk to Binance customers. So you have to be very careful with DeFi because you don't know if there are any vulnerabilities, and that's why there is a risk warning when using DeFi staking. The DeFi staking rewards are very high, but then you do take on some risk and Binance can't guarantee it, but Binance will do everything in their power to make sure it is a safe protocol for you to participate in. Number seven, activities. Activities will allow you to earn staking rewards for that specific coin for a very specific amount of time. So BEL, you get a 15 day annualized interest return of 18%. Activities are only available for a short amount of time, so these won't always be available and these will change from month to month. As you can see, some have ended and some are preparing. You'll have to check the Binance.com website for upcoming activities. And if you are going to use the Binance app, the activities will be available in the app once the activity is live. ETH 2.0 staking. If you are long an Ethereum and you want to earn interest on your Ethereum now, you can do that on Binance. So in the Binance app, we select more, scroll down to finance and select ETH 2.0. Now this is staking through Binance and they exchange your ETH for BETH, BETH or BETH. You can say it however you like, but what it stands for is Beacon Ethereum. So BETH. Uh, that is the shorthand for it, but I do like a coin named Beth. This Beth is doing well. Binance doesn't support any other coin named Beth, but this is BETH, ETH 2.0, available on Binance. Now, when you stake your ETH on Binance, you will be trading your ETH for BETH. BETH is a tokenized asset representing your Ethereum stake. Now you can't actually trade your BETH back into Ethereum through Binance, but you can trade it. Since it is a tokenized asset, there is a Binance trading pair for BETH and ETH. When the ETH 2.0 mainnet launches, then you'd be able to redeem your BETH back to ETH. And until then, you'll be earning interest on the BETH you have in your account. That interest rate will vary depending on how many people are staking their ETH. And you can see right now, the interest rate is about 6.4%. Dual investment. Lock BTC, USDT, or BUSD in a savings yield product and increase your earnings even more with the volatility of the market price on your crypto holdings. If the volatility of your crypto holdings is in a certain gap, so that your earnings exceed the savings rate, you'll get the higher amount. If the market price on your crypto holdings dips or your earnings don't exceed the savings rate, your holding may change to another asset. So with dual investment, it's kind of like a savings account and they have these strike prices where you would either be getting back BTC or BUSD depending on what happens in the market. Number 10, liquid swap. Becoming a liquidity provider is really popular, especially in DeFi, and you can also do that on Binance and earn your rewards while your funds stay safe. So from the app, you can select liquid swap here, or if you don't see that, select more, scroll down to finance, and then you should see liquid swap there. And if we select pool over here, we can see the different yields available for the different coin pairs. And there are a lot of different trading pairs available. But when you are a liquid swap provider, you are subject to impermanent loss. Basically, you'll be losing money in the long run if that coin doubles, triples, quadruples in price because your funds are locked in this liquidity pool. Now you can exit a liquidity pool whenever you want. And as you can see, the earning rates can be high, but that is the risk you take on when joining a liquidity pool. I'm tired. That was 10 ways 
There's a lot of ways. That's too many ways, Binance. You gotta, you gotta take it easy there. And Dan gets tired, so hit that like button to bring my energy back up. If you don't have the Binance app, there is a link in the description. And I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And we know what to make content for in the future. This has been a Binance educational video.